So I was watching this channel on YouTube, Prompt Engineering, and he's awesome. He's got two 7000 subscribers. He deserves much more. I don't know why the YouTube algorithm pushed him into my feed, but it was genius. What he did was create a picture of an avatar using Midjourney, then generated some script using ChatGPT. He then used Eleven Labs to turn the script into a voiceover, and used that avatar picture and the voiceover file in DID to make the avatar picture speak the text. There are lip animations and everything. It's unbelievable. Now I'm thinking, nobody needs an expensive camera or microphone to make YouTube videos. We can make our avatars say whatever we want. There's even a hidden benefit to that. No amount of money in the world will buy me a camera that would make me look beautiful enough, or buy me a microphone that would make me well-spoken enough for me to have the confidence to say what I want on the camera. With the avatar, it's different. It's not me, but it will say what I would ideally say without any fear or anxiety. True, it will be missing the emotions in my voice, but keeping in mind that most of those emotions would be fear and anxiety. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Back to the topic at hand. I followed his instructions in his videos pretty well, and it worked. You're looking at the end result right now, except I wrote the text myself instead of using ChatGPT. If you're watching this by some miracle, go watch him right now. I'll put the link in the description, so give him a like. I'll also put all the links to all of the tools he used. They are awesome. The level of quality of modern AI-generated content is amazing. DID, for instance, is able to take a simple frontal photo and animate it by syncing lips to what the speech audio is playing at a given time. On top of that, the head is animated with some shadows attached to the animation process. Sure, the animations sometimes look a bit creepy, but I bet that the algorithm for creating those animations is being improved constantly. Although some people argue that AI-generated content will be the end of our creativity, I disagree. We live in exciting times when people have more tools to express their creativity than ever. AIs are tools. Let's stop anthropomorphizing them and embrace the possibilities they open for us. Let's master these tools.